Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee is made with the same high-quality ingredients used to brew delicious hot coffee. However, iced coffee isn't just hot coffee poured over ice. It's a special recipe that uses twice the amount of ground coffee to achieve consistent flavor and freshness. Dunkin's iced coffee is available in original blend, decaf, and dark roast, and can be made in full or half batches. After preparing the reservoir, you are ready to make iced coffee using the Bun Digital IC3 Brewer. Remember, the steps for brewing iced coffee can be found in your job aids. Begin by using an empty prepared shuttle marked with the 24-hour shelf life for the liner. Use a clean container and add the appropriate amount of ice to the shuttle. Add 12 quarts of ice for a full batch and 6 quarts for a half batch. Next, add the lid and place the shuttle on the brewer under the spray head. Place a single filter in the black-handled brew basket and pour in the appropriate amount of coffee. This example shows you how to brew a full batch of original blend using two 12.5-ounce frack packs for a full batch. Refer to the job aid for decaf, dark roast, and half-batch preparations. Confirm that the display screen reads 200 degrees. Check that the grinds are level and insert the brew basket. Next, mark the 8-hour iced coffee expiration time on the shelf life label and place it on the fold of the liner. Select the appropriate batch size and then select the brew button that corresponds to the blend. In this example, select full batch and brew A for original blend. Brew A is also used to make decaf iced coffee. Use brew B for dark roast. Once the machine finishes brewing, stir four times with a clean, long-handled spatula to ensure uniform coffee consistency. Then replace the lid onto the shuttle. After every brew, immediately discard the filter and grounds. Rinse the brew basket and wipe down the spray head with a clean, sanitized cloth to ensure that the iced coffee flavor does not transfer to the iced tea. The iced coffee is now ready for serving. Insert the covered reservoir into the iced coffee serving station or tap system. Be sure to monitor the shelf life and discard any expired iced coffee.